Hello world, this is an aluminum tank chassis. It's supposed to come with two motors with the system here, so we should have two tank drive systems, and this, I believe, will be in gold metal. Uh, you can find the affiliate a link below. The affiliate link does not increase your price, but it does help us a little bit. I'm going to do an unboxing here and take a look at this. We just got five of these chassis in for some classes that we're working on to be integrating with the Raspberry Pis that you see here on the lab. So let's just open this thing up. Actually, first of all, so on the top of it, it says it's coming from this particular site. It has the label of X001 NYEG2V. Uh, this is not the first time that I've ordered these, and I do have a blue one before, and it has worked out quite well, so I ordered five more for the kids to uh, work on some projects. So this is the top plate that's sitting right here on the top. It just happens to be the top plate for the robot itself, so I'll bring that out. And then right here we have some of that hard foam that we're accustomed to with a lot of shipping boxes today. Take off that top piece, and there is the directions right on top. So this is the information as far as assembling the unit itself. Uh, this is, it's relatively self-explanatory as far as the parts and how they go together, but it's certainly beneficial to take a look at the directions and see what's indicated as far as what needs to go first. You can get to a situation where things get a little too tight if you don't do it in order. Uh, so let's pull all this out and see what we have. The, one of the first things that I noticed is it does come with uh, um, pretty cheap screwdriver. It does come with a screwdriver for the assembly portion itself. Do you have the wrench for the nuts? Uh, a lot of road wheels, and these road wheels all do have some reasonable bearings built into them. We do have wires directly attached to the motors here. And actually, on my previous ones, uh, we were missing one of the wires, so it's definitely good to see that this one has all the wires that are supposed to be on this bot. Uh, there are no terminations at the end. It is just a bare wire, so you can strip that and put it into your H bridge. Uh, what's nice about this particular motor is it does come with a gearbox directly mounted onto it, so you don't have extremely high speed, but you do have good torque for that uh, tank drive. So pull these out, set them off the side. Here is a static bag with all of the hardware that you'll need for your assembly. Another one, it looks like we have some spare tank tread there. And then you have your uh, drive gear, so this will be attached to the output shaft of the motor itself. And then here are the tank treads. Uh, these are pretty high quality tank treads, really, I believe, for what you uh, expect to get on a price line like this. These are usually about the $80 mark. Uh, but these work out pretty well. You do have some pretty good traction there, and the road wheels fit quite nicely in the uh, inside track. I haven't driven this out in snow, but it does work pretty well in an all-terrain environment. Uh, I'm not sure how snow would work if we do have some buildup underneath here with those uh, road wheels, but those are pretty good tank treads overall, especially for a small-scale system like this when you're just working on some prototyping. Here's the other one. More road wheels. Let's just pull all these out. And again, this is the gold chassis, so it should be decent for visibility. As we are dealing with the uh, COVID-19 lockdown situation, a lot of these are going to be viewed over a camera, so I decided to go with the gold just for high visibility option. Uh, so the chassis is, like I had mentioned, it's a self-assembly, does not come put together, but you could say that adds a little bit to the fun. There are some pieces that you don't necessarily need to attach to it, uh, such as there's a crossbar on the back that's not absolutely required, but I have found it as a beneficial place to uh, put a mode or a battery mount now you do have some of the different pieces that can go across the bottom but they are not absolutely required and then you do have a front section mount as well now let's open up the accessory bag here and as i had mentioned this is all the hardware required to put everything together it does come with all the nuts and bolts that you need for assembly 
and it does as i showed you earlier have that screwdriver as well as the wrench necessary for the nuts let's pull the chassis stuff on the side so this is as i mentioned aluminum uh, it is nicely painted uh, i've not had any issues with these things scratching or corroding uh, or the paint flecking off at all and I have had another chassis I'll show here in a little bit uh, for a couple of years now and I haven't used it a whole lot but it has seen some use and has not had any issues since. So we do have the road wheels with all built in bearing systems here and I have not had any issues with any of the bearings thus far on my previous one that's why I decided to go with the same brand again because it has worked out well for me in the past it does make a little bit noise when it rolls along but you would expect that with the tension on the tread and then we have the additional nuts and bolts and standoffs there let's open up the drives So these are drive sprockets that uh, the shaft from the output from the gearbox of the motor itself attaches to these and that's what gives you your actual drive torque is these sprockets fit within the slots here on the tank treads themselves so you have two for each side and essentially on the inside they go like that um, but let's uh, pan over and take a look at the one that I have set up going so this is an assembled tank bot like i said this is the blue one so not with the gold that we did that i just did the unboxing on but you notice here we have the road wheels so they fit right there within that track and then you had the sprocket system that i was just talking about there that engages in this uh, you don't have a whole lot of play on the tank treads uh, which is i think beneficial so you don't have to take the chance of them jumping off the road wheels or the sprockets themselves as i mentioned i chose to mount my battery off on the rear and then you have a lot of room in the front for pan tilt on your cameras or sonar sensors whatever you might want to use there and then i typically mount my raspberry pi and all that stuff up towards the top as well as the usb battery pack for the raspberry pi and then everything comes back to an h bridge that will do a different different video off of off of this unit you can then just uh, drive those motors directly choose uh, full power being just voltage on or voltage off i do some pulse width modulation so you can do some speed control but we'll do an entirely separate video on that and go a little bit more in depth to this so this is Chris with Elevations doing another unboxing. Hopefully this has benefited you. You may have learned something, and we would appreciate if you would use the affiliate link down below. It would help us out. It is, again, as I mentioned, it does not affect your price at all, but it does help uh, throw some extra R away. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.